Greetings, travelers. This game is easy. That's right, you could have never believed it. It's not that hard. I know what you're wondering. What could have possibly set the chairman off this time? Did someone insult Nekopara or something? No. Whoa! 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 Ding dong! Question time! Who's the chairman and who is Nekopara? Who is this VTuber that I am unfamiliar with? The YouTuber is the chairman. A cute uwu gamer. Does you have a backstory or anything? Nekopara. Let's review. Nekopara is a series of adult vision. I'm once again constantly reminded why I separate myself from every gaming community on the planet, despite the fact that this is what I do for a living. Because the only people that have time to say anything ever are the people that are going to constantly complain about literally everything. I'm already the enemy of both the casuals and the optimizers of the Final Fantasy XIV community, so it's time for me to get angry yet again. I've said this in the past, but I barely keep up to date on current events in Final Fantasy XIV. I just live in blissful ignorance, casting me Darde Setsugeko. Who's this person again? Oh, Mishap and Cher. Okay, that's him. Only my opinion is correct and you are all wrong. Okay. Like a neat who immerses himself in RP to escape reality. You want a funny experiment? Try saying that any job in Final Fantasy XIV is easy and just watch as everyone who plays that job explains to you that um, actually, you just don't understand the subtle nuance to no. Yo, real talk, man. Um, actually. That's actually what my face looks like underneath my beard. It's just my beard isn't patchy like his. Prove it? No. Actually, you just don't understand the subtle nuance to no. You don't understand the subtlety of being indistinguishable from any other keyboard or controller masher. I guess anyone who plays on a DDR pad is probably safe, though. I'm going to make this clear as day. Every single job is easy at a mediocre level. Everything. It should be. It shouldn't be that Yo, Z, hard thank you for to the look sub. at a job and have a basic idea of what you want to do. The only this person's wrong. This person's 100% wrong. You know why? This person has never done what we call the party finder. While he says every job is easy, that's fine. I disagree. I think every job is beyond hard. I think every job is almost uncomprehensible. Is that a word? Have you seen people in the party finder? Okay, anyway. The only reason why people want their job to be regarded as hard is so they can be like a stereotypical Rick and Morty fan and stroke their cock while measuring their IQ. Most... I don't watch Rick and Morty, actually. I've heard very opinionated people watch Rick and Morty. Is that true? Yeah. No, I don't watch it. That's what I'm asking. Losers do. You know, Nova asked me last night. She was like, do you watch Rick and Morty? And I was like, uh, no. I don't know what that is. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Why are you asking me that? Okay. Most of the time, I feel like I'm listening to toddlers talk about their toys and which ones are mm -hmm. more complicated. It's still a fucking kid's toy. No one is, is doing is anything that special. That's Occasionally, true. there are little tricks, like using a filler combo on mm -hmm. Samurai to line things up, or forcing a Twin Snakes early on Monk to make things line up. Sure, but at a basic level, it's not that hard. A lot of times, you're going to have to look some stuff up to hit the mediocre level, but even then, once you know what you're supposed to do, it's not that bad. You know why I insist on being called mediocre or adequate? Because I don't do anything special. If a fucking turbo casual like myself can do this, fucking anyone can. You want my nuclear take? I think previous expansion summoner was easy as fuck. Literally as easy as anything else in the game. The fact that that is still one of my most controversial opinions is one of the funniest things to me on the planet. The only problem that previous summoner had is that it wasn't straightforward with what you were supposed to do by looking at the buttons yourself. In my opinion, the skill floor was artificially increased by obfuscating the information and making it hard to figure out what you were supposed to press. Which was to press everything as soon as possible and then summon Bahamut. And then go back to mashing Ruin 3, which is very different from mashing Gemshine. You also had to alternate between Phoenix and Bahamut every minute, which is very different from how- Is that a D's nuts? What's Gemshine? Gemshine D's nuts? Strum. How the job plays now. Of course, I will clarify, I am talking about being mediocre. 
To be a top 0.1% summoner was probably the hardest job to optimize in the entire universe because it involved you taking Bahamut and Phoenix out to a nice dinner and then breaking their kneecaps to try to get them to function properly. You just didn't need... Is that a problem still? Pets not being responsive? No. Okay. ...to do that in order to be mediocre at the job. It still frustrated the ever-living shit out of me for getting soft punished for pet AI back then, but that's what it took to be the best. But the skill ceiling of a job has nothing to do with it being hard to play. Difficulty should be evaluated by the minimum amount of effort you'd have to put in to hit a decent level where you can do whatever it is that you want to do, or in the case of Final Fantasy XIV, clear the content that you want to clear. The only reason that Summoner is so straightforward now is because they made Dreadworm Trance and- Does this guy main Summoner? Did he make this whole video because he's pissed off at Summoner? So he's just really mad at Summoner right now. Okay, okay. And okay. Summon Bahamut, one button, removed in Kindle, and made all the spells instant cast during Bahamut phase. Now I want you to imagine previous expansion Summoner with these changes alone. And tell me that the job would not be the most straightforward thing on the planet. Once again, if you can clear the hardest content in the game from the expansion by playing at a mediocre level, then it doesn't matter. When I say something is easy, it's like saying it is e What's his name? Takinyan Speed. It's an appropriate name for a samurai. Does he have a backstory on a samurai? You said he main samurai. What's the backstory on a samurai? Is he an outlaw? Is he a hero? He likes to do a lot of damage. His backstory is he's angry. He's jaded as fuck. He's a weeb. Easy how to learn. He drifts Madare to Narnia. Damn. How the pieces move in chess. That's not going to be the hard part. Dancer might be easy, but you can still drift standard stepped into the void if you're not paying attention. The real challenge is doing your easy rotation while shit's being flung at you all over the place. At the same time, difficulty can be really hard to quantify because what people find difficult is going to vary from person to Yeah, that's true. That's very true. That's why when people ask me, yo, what's the hardest thing? What's the hardest turn? What's the hardest this? What's the easiest? What's the easiest? You know, it's like, well, fuck, man. I don't know. What do you think's hard? What do you think's difficult? He's cautious, confident, and efficient, but there's more than meets the eye. Not surprising for someone with his unsettling past. He was born and grew up in a wealthy family in a normal community. He lived out of trouble until he was about 12 years old, but at that point, things changed. He killed somebody by accident during a robbery gone wrong and was forgotten by everybody. This turned him into the man he is today. The person. You might personally find something harder to play and something easier, and then someone else has it the other way around. Maybe, just maybe, you totally find agree. some things easier totally or more difficult because of your own brain. In this case, though, we're still talking about the difference between easy and easier. But come on, you want to know what isn't difficult though? Pressing fleeting Raiju after a Raiton? Yeah, that's right. When you had to press two gap closers after Raiton, I understood. I knew that people wouldn't like that you couldn't hold it in, like how you can't hold your shit. But now, after these changes, you want to know what this button is? It's a fucking combo action. But here, wife gives sex if you can't hold it. <laughs> uh, it could be because you typically press Raitons back-to-back -back in burst windows, so letting you build up multiple Raijus actually makes it less clunky and more forgiving, so that you can still press Raiton and TCJ next to each other and not lose a Raiju. Man, it's almost like the developers wanted it to be convenient. You know, actually, I have a better question for you. What do you want to press instead? Another melee range weapon skill? The only thing I can possibly imagine is pressing throwing dagger because you held a right on but accidentally used it a little too early. If only you could have pressed throwing dagger first. This has to be one of the easiest things to play around in the entire game I have ever heard of. Yet I see people falling over and crying on the floor and pissing themselves over nothing. Damn. Thing. Holy shit. I bet you don't even complain that you can't hold Gallows or Gibbet on Reaper. Because if you don't complain about that, that means that you can't even hold your own beliefs consistently. You want to know what else is fun? Nobody understands numbers. I already knew this because nobody likes math. 
It is funny a- watching people complain about numbers in this game. Oh, boo-hoo. Reaper does more raid damage than Samurai. I can't believe that the dev team hates us degenerate weeaboos. Oh, really? <clears throat> How big is this supposed difference anyways? Do you actually know? I guess I can do a little bit of research. Let's see. It's about 2.4% between Samurai and Monk, which is actually the top RDPS right now, but I bet you didn't even know that. Although Monk and Reaper's ass cheeks are- I really wish that they would give notes on why they give buffs. ...are right next to each other on the RDPS toilet seat. But our DPS tries to account for the buffs that jobs bring to the table. But what about just raw individual damage? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Samurai does the most individual damage in the entire game. Crazy. Very nice. You know, this isn't Yo, a follow, bad thank relationship you for the between jobs that strictly do damage and jobs that provide buffs. You see, jobs that serve up buffs are then rewarded when jobs take those buffs and dish out more damage. This is a symbiotic relationship. And then I will still see some fucking mouth breather complaining that they do less individual damage as a ninja compared to a freestyle Sam. You know, it's almost like you make the entire raid do 5% more damage every minute for 15 seconds. So of course ninja's personal damage has to be lower. They have to account for trick attack if you want to make the game relative. Ding dong. Question time. How many people don't understand that? How many people actually think that a raid buffing job should deal as much damage as a job with no raid buffs? Do a lot of people seriously think that? Really? Why don't I hear about it? Is it because they don't say it in this chat? Okay, that's crazy. Relatively balanced. Of course, you know, poor Black Mage isn't the top individual DPS right now, which makes it so god-awful that you would never be able to clear the current Savage tier at all, let alone world fucking first. If you played Samurai before because it was the top DPS in the meta game, I'm gonna tell you something, you're not a Samurai player, you're a meta player. Now go play Reaper or Monk and be happy. Oh, what's that? You don't like playing Reaper or Monk? Then play the job that you like to play. Is it still good enough to meet whatever DPS check you want? Then who gives a shit? Oh, no, I know what it is. You want the job that you personally have the most fun playing to also simultaneously be the best job in the metagame. Well, if we just take a look at how many jobs there are and assume that you have an equal chance that any one of them could be your favorite, the odds of that happening are pretty fucking slim. Get used to it. Welcome to reality. But you know what? You're right. Samurai is a very, very hard job to play. Much harder than previous expansion because they added in a whole extra 1.3 second cast time every two minutes, which is one of the easiest things to slide cast on the entire planet. Honestly, why not just slap a samurai nerf so I can see some more people blow a gasket? It would be- It seems like this person is surrounded by idiots. I guess I want to call them like a typical FF logzer. They don't fully understand, they don't fully comprehend the FF logs, and they don't understand how raid buffs work. Jobs with raid buffs are going to deal less personal. I feel like that this person has just had it. It'd be more interesting to me, and I would continue to play the fucking job. But this goes back to what I said before. Every single job is easy. Job loyalty is like brand loyalty. I don't understand. That's if true. If you aren't enjoying a job... And That's true. There are a ton of job loyalists that play this game. A ton of them. Whenever you have like very strong opinions about a class, so take like me and Warrior, for example, like, right? Okay, me, Warrior, me, Dark Knight, all right? Warrior and Dark Knight are my favorite tanks, actually. I fucking love those tanks. That's why I'm so vocal about Dark Knight. That's why I'm so vocal about Warrior. But I try to separate as much as I can what I personally want with what I really feel the job needs and shit like that. And I wish more people would do that. I don't mind playing them at a job, but if I have a choice, I'll play the job that I want. But in this game, you don't necessarily always have to play meta. Like you don't, I don't know, this game's fucking easy, man. And you think a different one is more fun? If only you could play the one that's more fun for you. Or if you want to play the one that's more meta, you can play the one that's more meta. Here's mm. an image of the world before and after you change your main job in Final Fantasy XIV. This next segment of the video will lower how fun this is overall, but allow me to clarify. 
there's nothing wrong with giving feedback. But there is a weird pervasive mentality that I find in many gaming communities. And that's when someone makes a mistake while playing a game. Instead of trying to play better, they just lash out at the game itself. Even if it's justified. But if you have all this time and energy to constantly bitch and moan about something, you have the time and energy to get better at it. I did my triple weave back in the day because that's what I had to do to make it work. Hell and I even proceeded yeah. to stand still during my instant cast phase because I wanted Phoenix to do what it was supposed to do. What I noticed with Final Fantasy XIV especially is that because they listen to the player base so much, it's all about doing whatever they can to lower the amount of negative comments they receive on the forum. It's why they would rather buff every other job in the game rather than just ever so slightly toning down Reaper's damage. I am not going to say that that's the wrong approach, but I wonder if the motivations mm. behind it come from a place of fear that people are going- No, 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 That is stupid to even think that they're going to tone down Reaper. It's literally the new job. You're not going to hype up this new fucking job, release it on the biggest expansion, and then nerf it. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking for real? At this point, nerfing Reaper and shit has nothing to do with, like, feelings or any. It has to do with, one, PR, and two, money. They're not gonna hype up this fucking job, release the job. They spent all this money on the job. Yoshi went out of his way to say that they spent a lot of time and a lot of money. They're not gonna put all that time and energy in just to fucking nerf it. They're, they're, no, there's no way. There's no way. You have to be realistic. They're just gonna buff the other jobs, man point to complain when you literally cannot please everyone when people see a job change no you like can't you can't please Daishi everybody on samurai and decide to quit the game because of something so insignificant i cannot help but think that you're a massive baby but i'm also a massive child because i've complained about job design in the past too so how am i any different so with all of this i'm gonna help you design in the past too right this glamour classic classic samurai like the hat, his robe, got the wizard sleeves thing going on. Classic, traditional style samurai. Two, so how am I any different? So with all of this, I'm going to help you understand your own emotions like a very shitty therapist. <clears throat> if you don't like the way that a job feels, that means that you don't like how it feels on a personal level. It doesn't automatically make the job fundamentally bad from a number or a gameplay standpoint. Of all the things... He said that because I absolutely despise Gunbreaker. I fucking hate it. Will I play it? Yeah. Will I like it? No. No, but I'll play it. I'll play it. Yeah, sure. But I'm not going to like it. But that doesn't mean that I don't think it's good. I think it's amazing. I think defensively, it's like the second strongest. I think it's insane defensively. It is so powerful defensively. And I think its damage is really good. I just hate the way it plays. I'm able to separate. And I wish more people would be able to do that. If you don't like something, you should still recognize its strengths and its weaknesses to start shitting on the floor over, this is pretty petty. It's still important for the devs to know what the majority of players don't like, but it's still going to be a personal opinion at the end of the day. You are allowed to like previous expansion summoner, even though you're wrong. So anyways, put blood weapon on a charge system, but leave fight or flight and no mercy alone. But who knows, maybe we're gonna oh, have to- Oh, no, 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 no. All right. All right, so, all right, somebody tell this man, just zip it, shut the fuck up, zip it. You don't talk about Gunbreaker anymore. No, 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 no. You stick to Samurai, you stick to Summoner, you stick to that shit. No Mercy needs to be fucking changed. It needs at least three and a half more seconds, but they're not going to do that, so just make it five extra seconds, but it needs to be changed. That's not a matter of opinion. All right make those accessible too it's not like it's gonna make the job play any different oh also, absolutely fighting... absolutely it'll make the job play different you'll get you'll get your whole fucking burst in you'll get your whole burst in instead of missing like two fucking gcds this game too easy to play uh here's my pipeline for you start beating all the hardest but no the job won't actually play any different <laughs> content in the game uh once you do that do it on every single job then start optimizing every single job with your spare time and if it's still too easy, poo poo pee pee boring for you, maybe take a little break from the game and go touch some ass. I'm gonna crawl back into my cave yet again and close my eyes, reminding myself to never look at anything that anyone ever says about any game ever. Now let's Damn. get out there and stop being a little bitch about micro difficulties Damn. when it comes to playing a job at a moderate level. Damn.